Hey, did you know that sketching in Fusion, there's three different rectangles, and it's actually super useful to know all three. Here we go. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today, we're talking about the three different types of rectangles in Fusion. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna start a new design and look at this. So the first one that um, has come up over my career many times is how do I sketch a rectangle right on the origin and have it centered and all the planes centered? Um, some companies require that their engineers use that. So a few different ways to get there is the pull down, go to rectangle and go to that, that extension. You can see the three different types can also get there another way. Click this rectangle and over on the right, before you place it, you can actually change which option to use. So if I choose center rectangle, place it, it uses construction lines uh, off the centered object, which is pretty cool. I love that those are there. And if we now extrude that, because it's centered on the origin, if we center the symmetric cube or block now all three planes are going to be right in the middle of this block pretty cool so that's a good or an advantage of using that centered rectangle all right let's do another one okay so if you want to sketch on the same plane Okay, let's start the next sketch. Select the plane or the face. We're gonna sketch on that. I'm gonna use the two point rectangle. So this is end to end, kind of like you'd guess. So in this case, if I was trying to line it up, that's not ideal, right? So that's where I'd wanna maybe try this three point. Three point is awesome for aligning to you know other objects so I can align and then just extend. And then if we wanted to maybe you know bring this out at an angle, Okay, I'm gonna make these two parallel. Let's do parallel. And then perpendicular. Great. Okay, so same thing. When you need to align to something that's off at an angle, that's where that three point rectangle is awesome. And the other way to get to any of your rectangles, S key search and then type in rectangle, you can see all three there. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna do the three point, connect to these endpoints, extend out. All right, so that's three rectangles you should know about. If you're trying to learn Fusion 360, check out these other videos. See you in the next one, thanks.